it is extremely hard to have a successful board career if you are not prepared to network, connect with captains of industry, connect with key board directors uh, in the industry, uh, be connected to industry leaders uh, and be out and about and obviously networking across uh, the business community. It just doesn't happen. And, you know, it's one of the, the real realities. You know, I have a lot of aspiring candidates who come across my desk that want to embark on a board career, but they don't like networking. It's not a big part of their life. Uh, they don't want to do it. And, you know, it's just a real challenge from the, from the get-go. So if you are going to be successful, you have to be finger on the pulse, in my opinion. You have to be across what's going on in the industries that you're working in. And the only way you really do that is getting out and about, pressing the flesh, you know, really, you know, meeting up with people, hearing anecdotal feedback and so on. A couple of colleagues of mine went to a particular, uh, you know, private equity function the other day and they got commercial intelligence from this meeting that was just unbelievable. And they found out that this particular bank had implemented this solution and it wasn't going very well. And then they heard about a government project that was having similar problems. And it, you, this wouldn't have come about by telephone calls or reading articles or, or any of that. It all came about through networking, talking, to key people, uh, connecting to key people in the industry. So for a board director, there's, there's several places you should be connecting uh, in with other business executives. You should be going to industry events. You should be on the invite list to uh, the law firms, the professional services firms, the accounting firms that are hosting corporate luncheons, breakfasts, functions, education uh, opportunities, uh, thought leadership opportunities. So you should be going to a number of events each month. You should also be connecting in with key people and expanding your network and being asked to be introduced to key people. So that should also be going on. Uh, there are several places where you can go to network. You can network in clubs, private business clubs. Uh, you can, you know, still network in, you know, sporting clubs, golf clubs, sailing clubs, you know, where captains of industry go to have some leisure time. Uh, you could be networking where the private equity firms, the venture capital firms sit in the market or where the incubators, the accelerators are. Uh, there is just a host of places where you can be connecting. So there's no shortage of events. There's no shortage of opportunity. But you do have to have a strategy underpinning all of that and, and be clear about who you're trying to connect to and why and how you're going to sort of forge those relationships. And obviously when you go out and about, you need to be able to be confident enough to introduce yourself, um, start a conversation with people and uh, you know really get that side of things going well. And then following all of that, you need to be able to do the follow-up so that you can in fact build rapport with individuals so that you can uh, you know, sort of forge meaningful relationships into the future. So networking is really going to be at the heart of your board search strategy in my opinion and I have many many clients who just focus on networking and let the board seats take care of themselves and we have seen that be far superior far more successful than applying for advertised board seats and trying to get onto the board that way um, you know the networks is really where the unadvertised board market sits and so if you're not prepared to do that side of things you're missing out on probably 80% of the opportunities that are available in the market so it's going to be the key to your success and I highly recommend that you put some real thought and some effort into it going forward.